We present a training case in which a 3D model was used to plan and perform a robotic right mesocolectomy on a 40 year old male patient with a T3 N2 M0 moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma in the ascending colon. Complete mesocolic excision, or CME, as first defined by Werner Hohenberger, is defined by three key principles. Adequate longitudinal bowel resection, meticulous dissection along embryological planes, and a central vascular ligation and excision of D3 central lymph nodes. Mesocolic lymph node stations are divided into three groups by the Japanese Society for Cancer of the Colon and Rectum Classification System. D1 paracolic nodes run along the marginal artery, D2 intermediate nodes run with the tumor supplying vessels, and D3 central nodes overlie the anterior aspect of the superior mesenteric vein lateral to the superior mesenteric artery. An ongoing concern surrounding CME relates to an increased incidence of vascular injury. Preoperative planning is therefore an important aspect of safe CME surgery. We have developed the Amigo method, a mnemonic device describing a five-step checklist for the analysis of 2D CT cross-sectional imaging in order to determine the mesenteric vessel configuration. After identifying the aorta, we follow caudally to identify the SMA, which arises anteriorly off the abdominal aorta, just inferior to the celiac trunk. We then trace the course of the SMA until we identify the origin of the middle colic artery, typically found emerging distal to the inferior border of the pancreas. The SMA can be followed further distally to identify the origin of the ileocolic artery, seen here passing dorsally to the SMV. This can be traced as it passes inferior laterally to the right towards the cecum and proximal ascending colon. The ileocolic vein can then be identified as the vessel accompanying the artery and traced back to its insertion into SMV. The SMV can then be followed cephalad towards the pancreas, allowing identification of Henley's trunk, which can be seen draining into the right lateral aspect of SMV. Henley's trunk is defined as the confluence of the right gastroepiploic vein with pancreatic and up to three to four colonic vessels. In this case, Henley's is formed by an anterior pancreatoduodenal, gastroepiploic and superior right colonic vein. The GEV can usually be readily identified running with the greater curvature of the stomach before making a hairpin turn to drain into Henley's. However, even with such a systematic approach, extracting the 3D relationship of the mesenteric vessels can be challenging even for an experienced surgeon. 3D reconstructions derived from patient imaging may therefore be a useful adjunct to the preoperative planning process. In this animated 3D reconstruction, we can visualize the configuration of the patient's mesenteric vascular anatomy. Patient-specific models are generated by segmentation of the staging portovenous CT scan. Segmentation refers to the process of applying labels to specific pixels on each imaging slice to designate a specific anatomical structure. We can subsequently extract the 3D geometry as a polygon surface mesh. In the current case, we displayed the model on the web-based 3D medical visualization platform InnerSight Labs. The segmentation in DICOM can be uploaded to the platform, which automatically generates a colorized 3D model optimized for visualization on the Chrome web browser. Users can manipulate the model in 3D space with modular control over each structure's transparency. We displayed the model on an iPad Pro and utilized the inbuilt Tile Pro feature available on the DaVinci Surgical Robot to display the 3D model next to the operative view, as seen now on the screen. This enabled the 3D model to be referenced interoperatively to aid decision making and facilitate communication between the trainer and the trainee surgeon. Following port insertion, an infraallial approach was employed to mobilize the dorsal aspect of the ascending mesocolon and mesenteric root while preserving the lateral attachments of the colon. The D3 portion of the duodenum is identified. 
and the parietal peritoneal fascia which passes underneath the duodenum is divided. A plane is subsequently developed between the dorsal aspect of the visceral peritoneum of the ascending colon and the visceral peritoneum of the pancreas and duodenum. The dissection is considered complete when we visualize the mesenteric roots, the third portion of the duodenum and the uncinate process of the pancreas. We then proceed to identifying the junction between the ileocolic and superior mesenteric vessels. This visualization of the junction between the ileocolic and SMV characterized by an inverted V configuration helps avoid inadvertent incision of the mesentery to the left of the SMV and damage to the SMV or SMA. The ventral aspect of the mesocolic visceral peritoneum is incised to reveal the underlying superior mesenteric vein. The surrounding mesenteric fat is carefully dissected with scissor instrument diathermy to reveal the insertion of the ileocolic vein. The ICV is dissected circumferentially. An instrument is passed behind to ensure unequivocal circular dissection. The ileocolic vein is then clipped close to its insertion with the SMV with hemolock clips and divided with scissors. As predicted by the 3D model, the ileocolic artery passes posteriorly with respect to the SMV. This configuration is seen in around 60% of patients, with the vessel passing anteriorly over SMV in the remaining 40. The vessel is similarly dissected circumferentially. When passing posteriorly, the ICA is clipped and divided at the right lateral border of the SMV. The D3 dissection is continued cephalad, removing the mesentery lymphatics overlying the anterior SMV. 3D model facilitated safe identification of the middle colic artery. As demonstrated in the reconstruction, the first jejunal vein passes anteriorly over the SMA and just inferior to the origin of the common middle colic artery trunk. The model helped us identify this variant, allowing not only interoperative identification and preservation, but served as a useful landmark to target our dissection of the middle colic artery. For this right-sided tumour, we take the right branch and preserve the common trunk and left branch of the MCA. We initially misidentified the bifurcation into left and right branches, instead dissecting two laterally along the right branch at a secondary bifurcating branch point. Again, intraoperative analysis of the 3D model helped us recognize this and revise our clip placement.
the middle colic veins represent a more variable colonic vessel. One MCV is seen in around 70% of patients, two in 26, and three in two to four percent of cases. The MCV is seen in this case, usually drains into the SMV, but can also drain into Henley's, the inferior mesenteric vein, or jejunal slash splenic veins. After dissection of the vessel, we selectively clip and divide the right branch of the MCV. Henley's trunk can now be visualized draining into the right lateral aspect of the SMV. As demonstrated on the 3D reconstruction, Henley's is formed by the confluence of the gastroepiploic superior right colic and anterior superior pancreatoduodenal veins. After each vessel is identified, the superior right colic vein is selectively clipped and divided, preserving the GUV and ASPDV. The post-dissection anatomy is then inspected. We then enter the lesser sac by dividing the gastrocolic ligament and preserve the gastroepiploic arcade, which is not depicted in the current video. The hepatic flexure and lateral attachments of the colon are divided. The bowel is divided with an endo-GIA stapler and an intracorporeal side-to-side -side isoperistaltic handstone anastomosis is created and the specimen is removed via a right iliac fossa incision. We take standardized photos of the anterior and posterior aspects of the specimen. The specimen was graded as mesocolic on histology.